In this video, I will show you how you can integrate Facebook lead ads with your Gmail account so that whenever there is a new lead that comes over to your Facebook lead ads account, it will be automatically transferred to your Gmail in real time. Okay. So the first step that we are going to go and do is clicking on connect and access. Now, this is the Pabli dashboard that you see for the first time when you log in into your account and you just have to press access now button right here. Once you do that, you will be taken to the Pabli connect dashboard and then you have to click on create new workflow button right here. And I will be just writing the name as FB lead ads to Gmail. Okay. So this is the name of the workflow and I will be just saving the changes. Next, I will be choosing the app, which will be Facebook lead ads right here. And after that, I will be connecting my Facebook account by clicking this button. So for doing that, we will just authorize our application. And since I'm already logged in into my Facebook account in another window, it automatically authorized me in real time. So you can see it automatically fetched all the pages uh, on my account. And this is the page that I am interested in because this is the page on which I already have some lead generation form. And you can see the lead generation form is right here. And there are three lead generation form, which it automatically picked up on its own. So the one form that I'm interested in would be testing form one. If you add any new form, you can just click the refresh button and new form will be automatically populated. So I'm just going to save the changes and then I'm just going to do a test request. And you can see the, the form lead data just arrived. It arrived with the time of creation the ID of the form, um, for lead form when it actually was submitted. And this is some of the field data that we actually got. It includes the email and the name. Now, even though we got the data, but it looks a bit complicated. So we basically created another application, which you can just click by just clicking on this plus button, which will basically simplify this entire data so that it is meaningful and we can actually map it easily in any other step. Okay. So the one application that you would be interested would be data transformer because you want to transform this data into a more simpler form. We already have a Facebook lead ads method right here and you would have to just click on connect with data transformer. Now you will have to supply this field data inside this field so that it will simplify that. Now to supply that data, you will just have to map this field underscore data in this specific field to map that you just have to click this three lines right here. And you have to select field underscore data and the value of this specific field. It will automatically fetch the field value. It will not fetch the key, which you are either way not interested in. So you will just do that and you will just save it and you will just send the test request. And you can see it automatically uh, made the data entirely simpler. It gave us the email and it gave us the full name from the entire data in a more meaningful and simplified way. Now what we will be doing is we will be sending this data to uh, Gmail so that we can get some data once we have a new lead ad data inside our account. So again, we will just click the plus button and then we will choose our app as Gmail. Okay. And then we want to get an email. So I will just uh, select the send an email method clicking on connect with Gmail. I'll just connect right here. And I will choose my Gmail account and it is asking for certain per permissions, which we will just allow it. And as you can see, our Gmail account is now connected. Now it is asking us for the recipient name to which we want to send the email. So we want to send this email to magnet marketing. The recipient email will be magnet dot marketing two five one at gmail.com. The subject would be new FB lead data. And then we can just write the message. You just received a new Facebook lead on your account. Details are as below. Okay. And we will just write the name and the email address. And then we will just leave it by saying thanks, Pabli team. Okay. Now we will just map the name and the email field 
from the step two that we earlier got. So we will just click on this three dots right here. We will map the name by clicking this na name of the person and we will map the email address by clicking this specific data right here. And then we will be just saving this and we will be sending a test request. Okay. It seems our workflow worked. So I will be just heading back to my uh, Gmail account. This is the security alert because we just connected our account. So you don't have to worry about this. And you can easily see new FB lead data has just arrived right here. So you can see you just received a new Facebook lead on your account. Details are as below name and the email of the person and thanks Pabli team. And you can see that we have basically connected our uh, Facebook lead account with Gmail in real time. This means you do not have to do anything else from this step onwards. Whenever there would be a new lead that will be coming up in Facebook, this workflow will be executed automatically and you will start to get emails on your email account whenever there is a new data inside, uh, inside Facebook lead ads. Now I will be taking this a step bit forward. Now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to push this data to Google Sheets so that whenever there is a new data in Facebook lead ads, we will be getting the very same data in our Google Sheet as well. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to sheets.google.com. Okay. And by going that by going there, uh, I'm going to create a blank sheet. And inside the sheet name, I'm going to say FB lead lead ad data okay and i'm going to create a sheet with name and the email field okay so this is the name and email field for this google sheet and we will be integrating google sheet uh, in the very same scenario as well so that now we will be getting data on our gmail but at the same time our google sheet account will also be updated whenever there is a new lead in facebook so i'm just going to click on plus button again in the choose apps, I will be writing Google Sheets. I'm saying that I want to append a new value. I'm just clicking on connect with Google Sheets. Uh, I'm just clicking on connect. And this time I'm choosing my another account. And it is asking for certain permissions. So we are just allowing that permissions to be given to Pabli Connect. And it has already successfully authorized our account. So it automatically populated all the Google Sheets in my account. You can see it automatically fetched the FB lead ad data Google Sheet that we created just now. So this is the FB lead ad data Google Sheet. And this is the sheet number one, which we are really concerned about. So it automatically fetched the number of sheets in my account and it is giving me sheet one as the data. Now we have to just enter the value so that it reaches automatically in this sheet. Uh, to enter the value, the instruction says that enter the row values within double quotes to be inserted in the sheet. Example value one for a row use comma separated values uh, by like this. So basically we have to do a comma separated values and each value will be coming inside its own quote. So I will be just writing double quotes comma double quotes because there will be two values for name and email. So I just placed my cursor in between this double quotes and I'm just selecting this data and I'm just choosing the full name from step two that we already got. And I'm just choosing the email address from data two and we are just saving it. Okay. And I'm just trying to send a test request to see if everything is working fine and it executed and we can go back and you can see the Google sheet has been populated. Now what we really have done is, we have basically created an automation workflow, which we can basically save now. What, what it will do is it will be triggering by uh, new leads. Whenever there is a new lead uh, in your Facebook lead account inside this page, inside this form, it will automatically trigger. Based on that trigger, we will be transforming the data because field data is a bit complicated. So we will just transform this data into a much simpler form so that we can map the data easily in the next steps. So data transformer is the app and method is the Facebook lead ad method. After that, we just connected our Gmail account to receive an email. We mapped all the simplified data inside the email message. And lastly, we mapped the same data in Google Sheet so that everything comes over to Google Sheet whenever there is a new submission inside Facebook lead ads. 
So I hope you might found this well video useful and just let me know if you have any questions. You can always email us at admin at pably.com. We have so many integrations and basically you can do all these integrations in a workflow way, flow mesh way in the way of adding some new workflows. Just click on this plus button, add as many workflows as you want within a single workflow and you can basically execute and automate all your stuff easily and quickly. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, the email is admin at pably.com. Thank you for watching this video.